So I'm here with Jonathan Root from Root Berry. And uh, well, Jonathan, I just want to ask you, like, how did you start juggling? Uh, I started juggling in prison. <laughs> okay. All right. It wasn't actually a prison. I just started, uh, I was at like an after uh, my prom event in 1992, a long, long time ago. And there was a clown there and I just started uh, making balloons and then learned to juggle from the book called The Juggling for the Complete Cuts. And then, uh, I, and then I met this Bill Berry guy and, and convinced him it would be a good way to make a living. And we've been a juggling team for uh, 19 years now. Yeah, so you guys killed it tonight. You guys did awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. I appreciate it. What What is uh, some of the things that you do during practice when you guys were competing and so forth that uh, maybe some people want to know? How did you schedule your practice? How many hours did you practice? And so forth. Um, practice. Uh, you can practice um, with a goal in mind, or you can practice aimlessly. And if you practice with a goal in mind, you will you'll be much, much more effective in your practice. For instance, if you're gonna do a trick, right? You wanna do this trick, the most simplest of tricks. If you do it like this until you drop, then it's not as good as doing this, juggling and doing one throw, and then doing two throws, and then stopping, going back to your basic pattern, and then going like this, and doing a couple more, and that way exactly. you practice the beginning and the end of the trick, because if you only practice the beginning, you will never finish it clean on stage because you don't practice. So you gotta practice efficiently and with a goal in mind, and that's the best way to practice for competing. Very, very good, thank you. Thanks. How do you like my balls? These are yours? Yeah. You're rad, dude. <laughs> yeah, I dig right. these, man. Yeah, cool, man, thanks. People will never do it if they don't love it. Right, because you gotta it's love too it. Hard. You, you, gotta, you have to love the juggle. You go get a real job, and that's it's a hell of a lot easier, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I mean, yeah, it's, it's I mean, you know, go be an insurance guy. If yeah. you don't have the passion for it, yeah. it's too difficult. Because, I mean, seriously, you know. I, I know, I know. All the, the grind of traveling. I do it every young. day. Every day. You're young. Every day. I do Give it, give it 15 more years when you're my age and be like, oh shit, I gotta get on another plane. And well, I'm, I'm not I've done it, I'm, I'm enjoying it. 22 right. countries, the past two years. I understand, but you're not 42 years old. And when you're 42, look back and just go, and it's not the aspect of the actual performing. It's the getting to the show that yeah. is wears you down yep. and is a grind. So you have to it's love the it. 6 a.m. flights to yeah. getting yeah. on the bus to get go up on at 3:30 in the morning and to then be on perform a, that night. Yeah, sure. Two hours of sleep probably. Right. There you go. That's the professional. Two hours of sleep doing it in front of sure. a packed crowd and of thousands of people. They don't know that you've had two hours, and you don't tell them no. because I've had probably three you, hours. Why would you punish them <laughs> for? It's, Absolutely. It's, it's just your reality. It's not, it sucks, but it's yeah. your reality. <laughs> I think that's what Red Bull's for. You just drink the Red right, Bull. Right, sure. You're ready to go on stage. It gives you wings. <laughs> so tell me this, um, when you guys are doing shows and stuff, how do you guys prepare for shows? Are you guys uh, trying new material and scripting new things? Um, for someone who wants to be a professional juggler, what would you give an advice about creating new shows? Well, okay, I have a book out. It's called okay. um, It's called Killer Comedy, and it's about that subject you just asked. Okay. I know you didn't. I'll Set me up for I'm that. Gonna, I'm gonna put a, a link in there. Killer Comedy is it's available on Amazon, and it is about the uh, being a professional entertainer, not just cool. a juggler in general, but it deals with comedy writing, it deals with all the business of juggling and all the stuff that goes with it. Um, I didn't even know you had this book, so this is great. Yeah, awesome. Um, and yeah, it's it's cool stuff. So, but um, there's a ton of stuff. Too much, too much to to, to go over in a video this short. But I will say that even if you just do technical juggling, you should work on your comedy because comedy is a skill just like bodybuilding. If you keep working a muscle, it will get better and better and better. And that's what happens with, I'm talking so quickly, that's what happens with comedy. <laughs> so you keep Killer working Killer comedy. It. You write something and then you try it in front of an audience or you refine it, you refine it, then try it in front of an audience and then and then see what gets response right. and then you craft it and hone it just like you would any other skill, whether it be weightlifting or juggling or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Is there a prop that you like the most in your shows? Or? Comedy. I know it's not okay. a prop, but... Right? No, you can comedy. use it as a... Yeah, it's exactly. An, a, comedy is an art in itself. I've started doing a lot of stand-up now when I can, when we're cool. not doing our show as a team. And it is, uh, think about this. When a stand-up comic goes out, they have nothing other than their own intellect and a microphone. Right. So if you go out as a juggler, and I know this sounds funny, but it's easy to hide behind your props. If you go out as a comedian, 
all you I mean you can hide behind your mic but that's not much they the on the audience will be honest with you if you are not funny and the thing is it, not everyone is and not everyone even funny people can't be funny all the time and learning to perform for a diverse audience uh, is is an art Absolutely. comedy is an art so tell me one last thing if you had a some young person who's inspired to be a professional juggler like yourself okay. and wants to do someday what you're doing, what advice would you give to them to start out on the right track? Grow a beard. That's the advice that I would give. Hey, yeah. is the, I don't have a beard, but I'm doing pretty good. I mean, uh, the, the advice that I would give is, uh, is, is work. There's a ton of social skills you need, or rather skills in general. You need social skills. You need... You need to actually be good enough at your craft to understand that it's it's something presentable. If you're trying something, and you shouldn't be trying on stage, you should be doing. Absolutely. And because if not, if it's for your own uh, edification, it should be done in practice. If it's if it's something you've crafted and honed and perfected, that's when you can bring it to an audience, and then they give back to you. You give it back to them. It's a win-win situation. So, I would say. Work on your craft in all aspects. If I mean, you can go work on a myriad of different things, but find out what you want to be as a, as a performer, whether it be stand-up, clown, whatever. And I'm not saying that facetiously. There's amazing clowns out there that are just, will blow your mind if you know what you're looking for. And so, you know, know where you want to go and and hone your craft. It's, it's something you, you never finish. It's, you're constantly working. Awesome, great words. Thank Thanks, you very brother. much, Jonathan, appreciate Thanks. it. Check it out, Rootberry in the house. <laughs>